We've been living in Bangkok for the last three months now. Do you guys want to hear about Thailand? This is going to be your first trip coming to Bangkok. We definitely have some tips and some destinations that we recommend you go to. Sounds so awesome. Let's start with destinations that you have to see as a first time tourist. The first one is Wat Po, which is the Temple of the Reclining Buddha. It is a complex with tons of temples everywhere in, in one big temple that has hand painted, beautiful images of the history of Thailand. There is a massive reclining Buddha that you can see. It is so worth going to. Second place that I recommend going to is the Grand Palace, which houses the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. The Grand Palace is both a religious and political destination, so lots of people are always going there. Because it's so crowded, that's why I don't list it as the number one place that you should go if this is your first time here and possibly your only time visiting, that is definitely a place that you need to make sure that you visit. Because it's always so crowded, I recommend not going on a Saturday. Also, be aware, there will be lots of people who are trying to sell you some things. The Grand Palace is always open. If someone tells you it's closed and they try to take you somewhere else, please don't go with them. Okay. That is a lie. You sit on a throne of lies. The third place we suggest you go to after you've done all of the busy touring of these beautiful temples, go over to a rooftop restaurant along the river and look out at Wat Arun, which is a beautiful temple that means Temple of the Dawn. You can find lots of different rooftop bars and restaurants, but we really loved the deck the most. I love this. This is actually the second time that we've been here over the last two years. It's great for families, has really good Thai food, and has an amazing view. I'll leave a link down in the description so that you guys can go to the exact restaurant that we went to. One of my favorite temples in all of Bangkok is Wat Arun. It's this one that's right here behind me. You've probably seen it in a lot of pictures if you've been doing some research for coming to Bangkok. Definitely on your first trip, this is a must-see attraction. For all three of those temples, there are clothing standards. You have to have your shoulders covered, don't have your boobs out, just like make sure that you are generally covered up more than you would be as a tourist. So what I usually do is I wear a dress or something like that and then bring like just something to cover up with. For your legs, you need to be covering your knees at least. I think the Grand Palace might actually be down to your ankles. So you can bring a sarong to put on top or wear some lightweight pants. You can purchase a sarong or cover-up, but it is really expensive if you're buying it at these temples. It's kind of like the price you pay for not being in dress code. See, and I kind of think like, it's so hot, I definitely want to wear shorts, and it's kind of fun as a tourist to go in there and buy the big silky elephant pants. They're like 350 baht, which is about 10 US dollars, so it's not a terrible price and you get a fun souvenir. But you can go down the road and buy them for 100 baht. That is true. Shorts cannot be worn into any of those temples, as well as pants with rips in them. You learned that the first time. I that we did. Went. I thought it was so ready. I had my shoulders covered, I had pants on, but they had rips. On top of destinations that you want to go to, Bangkok is known for its shopping experience. So you're going to want to find some awesome places to go shopping. The ultimate place to go shopping is the biggest open air market in the world called Chattachek or JJ's. And I am not saying it in the correct Thai pronunciation, but if you look up Chattachek, you'll find it. It is only open on the weekends. It is worth planning your trip to go to China Check on the weekend and public transportation makes it really easy to get there. Guys, Thailand knows how to do malls. Every other country in the world fails in comparison to the malls here in Bangkok. They are amazing. I can go to a mall for an entire day and not get bored. Some of the biggest malls that we've been to include MBK Center, Siam Paragon, and one of the most interesting ones that we like to go to is called Terminal 21. Every floor of that that mall is themed to fit a different city. So you can travel to Istanbul or to Paris or to London or to Tokyo. It's such a fun experience to go shopping while also traveling to all of these different cultures. What would a trip to Bangkok be without street food? They are known for having some of the best street food in the world. Our favorite market to go to in downtown Bangkok is the big one over on Ramen 9 or Parang Gao. And it's beautiful. It's it's a great night market to go to because you can have lots of different types of food, including Thai food and some other different cuisines. And it's just a really good authentic experience. Also, you should try some of our favorite meals that we've had here in Thailand. Of course, you have to try some Pad Thai. Pad Siu is also one of our favorites, Tom Yum Soup, and Khao Pad Gai, which is chicken fried rice. You also need to know about all of the transportation in Bangkok. Basically, transportation is easy to use. It is relatively cheap, but it does take a really, really long time. Transportation 
transportation in Bangkok is really, really fun. We use three different modes of transportation to get around the city. Number one is a taxi. Anyone can use a taxi. They're super easy to use. Just have Google Maps out so that you can show your taxi driver where you want to go because he'll probably only speak Thai and if you're not fluent in Thai, you won't be able to communicate very well. Another option for transportation is to use the train system, which has three different lines that you can use. And that is the airport link, MRT, and BTS. Keep in mind that if you're transitioning between those lines, you'll have to actually get out and buy a new ticket because those are not the same lines. The last one, and one of my favorite to use, is a water taxi. Water taxis are great because you can use Google Maps to get around. They're affordable, and it's so much fun to be able to just sit back and relax and enjoy the scenery as you float down the river. Here are just some general tips that you should know before you get here. If you're landing in BKK, uh, the Sawarnapum Airport, you should jump on the airport link and just take that into downtown Bangkok. Don't worry about a taxi. Another thing to be aware of if you're going to the Grand Palace is to be ready for some aggressive salesmen. Now, none of these salesmen are going to rob you. They're not going to hurt you at all. They're just going to be very aggressive in the way that they sail. So just be prepared to confidently say no and walk away. Drink lots of water. It is so hot, and if you're coming from somewhere outside of Thailand, your body's probably not used to it. Please, please, please drink a lot of water. It is only six baht at the local 7-Eleven, so just buy a bunch of it and have it ready to go. Another tip that we have is to just be respectful of Thai and Buddhist culture. If you see a temple, make sure that you are being respectful by removing your shoes before entering into the temple. Don't point at any of the monks or statues of Buddha. Be aware of where there are statues of Buddha and don't treat them informally or passively. Also, if you see something like this, these are not decorations or birdhouses. These are spirit houses and Thais will often bring offerings to them. They are sacred places, so please be respectful. The last thing that I would want to know for my first trip to Bangkok is how to say a few useful phrases in Thai. We have learned that a few useful Thai phrases go a long way with Thai people. They love when foreigners learn just a few Thai words to be able to communicate even just a little bit. The first phrase that will be useful to you is how to just say hello, which is sawadika for a boy. And sawadika if you're a girl. Thank you is kapkun kap. And kapkun ka if you're a girl. We hope that this video has been useful for you and we hope that you would subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment and let us know if there's anything else that you would recommend someone do on their first trip to Thailand. If you enjoy this or if you would like to join us on our travel vlogs in the future, we would love for you to join our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!